James here from goodguitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Simple Man by Leonard Skinnerd. and I already have a lesson that shows you like a really simple easy way to strum along with it and another lesson that shows you the the riff that you can play that they start playing around one minute during the first chorus. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to play that finger picking or flat picking part depending on whether you want to use your fingers or a pick. Now something really important before we get started if you try to play along with the original recording, this isn't going to sound right. And it's not because we're not learning it right, it's because for the recording they tuned their guitars down. So this is the E string, they tuned it down to E flat. They tuned their A string to A flat. So whatever the name of the string is, flat. And that's called half step down tuning and a lot of famous guitar players use it, Jimi Hendrix, Steve Ray Vaughan, a whole bunch. And it's really cool, it makes the strings sound lower and they like rattle a little bit, it adds a lot of, you know, a lot of cool darkness to it. But in this lesson we're not going to bother doing that because it's a really big hassle tuning your guitar down to half step down tuning. I'm just going to do it in standard tuning. If later you want to play along with the original recording, just, you know, tune down to half step down tuning. Now the chords for this song, it's really simple. It's kind of a three chord song, like 3.5 chords. There's a C chord, a G chord, and then an A minor chord, and finally A minor seven, which is just adding like one finger to A minor. That's why I'm like, it's, you know, 3.5 chord shapes. And if you're not familiar with those chord shapes, I recommend checking out, I have a bunch of resources. There's my free ebook on rhythm guitar goes over all the basic chord shapes, those are all in there, and it shows you how to practice them, some tips on strumming, you know, a bunch of useful stuff. And if you're just getting started and maybe having trouble getting a grasp on the basics, I also have a premium beginners course which goes through like everything, just a step by step guide through all the basics. Anyways, before moving on any further, we're going to practice those chord shapes in order, just strumming them with downstrokes only, keeping it nice and simple. Starting off on C. One, two, three, four. Going to G, then A minor. Then we add that finger for A minor seven. Again. Got him. C on a G on bottom A minor. Cool. So once you have the chord shapes down, we can take a look at the picking. And it goes like this. I'll do it nice and slow. seem like a lot but there's actually a pattern that recurs and we're just kind of altering the pattern a little bit every time we change chords so first we're gonna start off on our C chord and whether you're picking with your fingers like if you want you know you could use your fingers for this you could use one finger finger and thumb you know the whole point is that you're getting the right strings in the right order I'm gonna be using a pick it starts off with but let's ignore that part for now. Let's just focus on the pattern. So we have our C chord. We pluck the A string. Then we go to the G string. G, D, A. So that's the first half. Memorize that. Do it a bunch of times. If you go by string numbers, it's like five, three, four, five. Or A, G, D, a. Now the next bit, we're going to go to the B string and we're going to go B, G, D, G. With the numbers 2, 3, 4, 3. So let's glue that together. It's 
quite the jump when you're putting it together. You gotta go all the way to the B string. And once you can do it one time successfully, try to loop it. You know, try to play it a whole bunch of times in a row. It doesn't matter how slow you go. If you have to go this slow, I recommend it. The thing that you want to do is make sure that you're going steadily. You don't want to be like... You know, you want to be... Da, 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 da. That's your goal. If you can play it steadily, it doesn't matter what speed you're doing it at, you can always get gradually faster. The whole thing is you want it to be steady though. So take the time to just work that out. And once you have it, we can move on to the next chord shape, which is G. And for this, we don't even really have to press those higher strings. We're not going to be plucking them. And the pattern is exactly the same, except instead of starting here, we start here. So. So we took the whole thing and we shifted it from here to here. I'll go through it bit by bit. The lowest string, then D, A, E. That's our first half. And make sure that you're arching these fingers enough. If you're not arching them enough, that string's not going to work. So you really want to arch these fingers, get a nice, you know, get nice wrist support. Really lower your thumb a little bit if you need to. And then we go to the G string. And when you glue that together, So that's our G chord. Make sure you can do that a whole bunch of times in a row. Then we go to our A minor chord, and the picking is exactly the same as on the C chord. So you should already be able to do that. You're just holding a different chord shape. And at this point, I would practice going between each of those. So starting off at C, going to G, to A minor. And if you're having trouble with that, it means you need to memorize each of those. You should be able to just tell yourself, I'm going to do it on G. And just get it right away. You know, and there might be a little pause when you're switching, but if you practice it enough, you'll get rid of that pause and be able to play steadily through all of those. Now the last bit is A minor 7, and for this one it's a little bit different. This is where we're breaking the pattern. So we're already on an A minor chord. The switch is easy, we just add our pinky. We're gonna pluck the A string, then we jump to the B string. B, G, D. So that's the first half. Then we pluck the highest string, the B string. So let's do all of that. One more. And then we can play that pickup to go back into our C chord. So and I'm using my middle finger to press that second fret. And I'm just going 0, 2 on the A string. And then I land with my third finger and I make my C chord. So I would practice going bunch of times. Just that little snippet. That'll make sure that you can loop this. You know, once you get to the end, you got to get back to the beginning by going like this. And let's just practice the last bit, A minor 7, that whole measure going back to the start. Just that bit. I would do that like a billion times until you have it down. And once you have that down, we can glue the whole thing together, and this is what it goes like. And 
that's what you would do for the majority of the song. During the chorus, if you want it to get like a bit more intense, you can just strum the chords. And I already have a video that shows how to strum them, but let's just do it again. Um, the strumming pattern I would use is just down, root, down, down, up. Really basic pattern. Root means to just do like a low strum, you know, to not get all the strings, but just the low ones. And you just do it with the chord progression, like down, root, down, down, up. Now that we have all the components, let's try putting it all together. We're going to play it together nice and slow. You can always just watch this part, rewind it, watch it again, you know, until you're ready to try it with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's how you play Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. And if you want to do some lead guitar stuff, I also do one where I show you that intro riff. And I have a video with just simple strumming if you want more practice strumming this one. I'll put links to both of those down below. Either way, have a fun time practicing this one. If you need any extra help, don't forget to check out my free ebooks or my beginner course. Either way, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.